Let Israel rejoice in their Creator. Let the people of Zion delight in their King. Psalm 149, verse 2. Be glad of heart, Christian, but take care that your gladness has its spring in the Lord. You have much cause for gladness in the Lord, for you can sing with David, God, my exceeding joy. Be glad that the Lord reigns, that Jehovah is the King. Rejoice that he sits upon the throne and rules all things. Every attribute of God should become a fresh ray in the sunlight of our gladness. He that is wise should make us glad, knowing as we do our own foolishness. That he is mighty should cause us to rejoice who tremble at our own weaknesses. That he is everlasting should be a theme for of joy when we know that we will wither like the grass. That he is unchanging should perpetually yield us a song, since we change from one moment to another. That he is full of grace, that he overflows with it, and that his grace in covenant he has given to us. That it is ours to cleanse us, ours to keep us, ours to sanctify us, ours to perfect us, ours to bring us to glory. All this should make us glad in him. This gladness in God is as deep as a river. We have only as yet touched its brink. We know a little of its clear, sweet, heavenly stream. But onward the depth is greater, and the current becomes more impetuous in its joy. The Christian feels he may delight himself not only in what God is, but also in all that God has done in the past. The Psalms show us clearly that God's people in olden times were often thinking of God's actions and had a song concerning each and every one of them. So let God's people now rehearse his deeds of the Lord. Let them tell of his mighty acts and sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Nor let them ever cease to sing, for as now mercies flow to them day by day, and so should their gladness in the Lord's loving acts, in providence and grace, show itself in continued thanksgiving. Be glad, children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. Amen.